Good morning, guys. So, I thought I'd make a quick little video. It's really early. I just dropped the kids off at school. Not super early. I know a lot of people have to start their day way earlier than this. But, um, we got a placement call yesterday. And I wasn't expecting it because you know what happened with our last placement. We told them we wanted at least two week break. So, um, I guess it's been almost, almost two weeks now since they left. Um, so hard to believe. But, I'm sitting at the drive-thru getting some breakfast and they should be bringing us our new placement today. Sorry, I'm, I'm using my phone to film so I'm not like looking directly at the camera. Um, oops. And um, this is just respite care. Um, I was not... I'm kind of glad it's just respite care because I wasn't ready for a permanent placement just yet, like long term. So this will just be for one week is what we've been told. It can change, but um, this placement will be for one week um, of a 12 year old girl and we're super excited to meet her and she should be coming sometime today. They still haven't let me know what time. So um, yeah, I do have several appointments this week, like I have a dermatologist appointment, another dentist appointment, and um, yeah, I just took the cat to the vet yesterday, so it's already been, like, a busy start to the week. So, um, and she can't be, we can't put her in school because she's only going to be with us for a week. So, um, yeah, there's that. So, she's just going to have to go with me. So, I hope, we don't know if there's any behaviors. This is her first time in care. So, um, we don't know. We, she don't, we don't think she has any behavior issues, but... With it being her first time in care, we're not sure. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we got another placement call. This is our third placement call. If you watched my last placement call video, that fell through. Um, she didn't end up coming for whatever reason. We know the reason, I just can't really talk about it. Um, which is fine. Um, you know, we were open to that, but um, it just worked out where she was actually able to um, go somewhere closer to home and that she will be going home very soon so it was, it was a good story so um we got a call sorry I'm about out of memory on my camera on my phone um because we're at a friend's house and I don't have my vlogging camera and I just got the call like an hour ago but um I've actually been sick today I've been nauseous for like two days I haven't had a fever or thrown up I just haven't felt great so when she called me about three kids, sorry if I'm looking at the phone, I'm trying to look at the camera, but um, she called me about three kids, ages one, two, and four years old, and we have two of our own, so again, we would have five total. Talked to my husband, he wasn't as excited as he was with the first placement call, just because we've had five at one time before, and I'm not going to lie, it was difficult, it was a lot of work, and we got our heart broken in the end, so it was... Um, it was tough. I mean, we still said yes, but um, it was just the, the 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 decision is getting harder. Um, but we called her back and she said they had already been placed. So yeah, so we won't be getting them either. So, but she said the reason they're being placed, we didn't get much information on them at all. Um, just their ages. Literally, she said there's an agency closing. And they have to, basically when an agency closes, they have to move all of their cases to another agency that can take those cases and um, get them placed as soon as possible. So, um, that's, she was just trying to find a placement for them quickly and a placement that could take them all because they don't want to split up a sibling set. And she said within our agency, we were the only ones open to take three right now again. So, um... If she, if we couldn't do it, they would more than likely have to split them up. So she did not want to do that, and I didn't either. So yeah, so that is the roller coaster of foster care. We, for about five minutes, we thought our lives were changing forever again, and then it fell through. And th and that's okay, you know. Whatever happens, I'm just along for the ride. Um, I'm just gonna leave it up to God. I know there's children who need us, and. Um, I pray that the children who need us the most and the children who fit the best with our family, I pray that those are the placements that we will get. And I do believe that's what we will get, the ones who need us the most and the ones that are 
that will fit the best with our family. I think our um, our caseworker, um, she had another placement that she had, but she didn't think they would be good for our family for certain reasons, and I agreed with her. So I do think she's looking out for the, the best interests of us and our, our children as well. So, um, so yeah, that's how my day is going. I had a doctor's appointment today, and... Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with me, but I'm sick again. I just need to take a break, I think. I just need a break. So I, f I felt bad taking a placement knowing that I feel like crap and I'm not like on my A game. But